Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Phasmophobia. Today I thought I would do an insanity mode run, maybe plural, depending on how quickly I can get these out. I'm gonna start on Willow Street House, so without further ado, I'll see you guys in the truck. Alright, we're hunting Paul Dexter. Uh, we need to capture a photo of the ghost, escape a hunt, and detect a sound with the parabolic mic. Uh, one of these is easily controllable. The other stuff, left stow. Like, parabolic mic noises are very random. You never know uh, when you're going to get a ghost event either. Quickly try to find the breaker. Looks like it's in the basement. It's pretty much the worst place for it. It's a ginormous walk. Kind of forgot I had a flashlight for a sec. Oh, you little piece of shit. Well, we know it's not a gin, at least. Uh, you can get a photo from there, right? Yeah. Well, uh, the ghost can turn off the breaker from anywhere in the building. So that isn't really a real indicator of where it is. Have to wander around until we hear it do something. Which is fine. Give us an opportunity to look for Hmm. That shoe's out of place. I think uh, this is the ghost room. Can you give us a sign? That shoe does not start there. It starts right here. I'm going to bring in more evidence. It's clearly not being very active. Let's see. I don't know if you can hide, like, this or not. I wouldn't really want to test it. Uh, I dropped my photo cam already. Let's see. So, this hiding spot's not here. Those hiding spots. Okay. So, if we want to hide from a hunt... Then we can just go to the garage and smudge the ghost. That'll be the method that we gotta use. Just quickly checking the EMF. Got EMF too. Which is about as standard as it gets. Uh, I'm gonna bring in the UV light because I don't really want to do the fingerprints photo test. Just because it's like a it basically precludes you from doing a perfect investigation, and there's no reason to do that. Let's look at a book in as well. We should still be at... So in, in sandy mode, you start at 75% sandy. I like to take a pill at the start. Pills restore 20% sandy, so we start at 95 Uh, then if we, we've been around in the dark for a while, so I think we should be at like 85% Sandy. If I had to hazard guess. Well, it's not a mare, so that's two ghosts ruled out. It uh, turned on a light. Mares cannot turn on lights. Can you talk? Can you speak? Where are you? How old are you? Are you here? Are you close? Can you talk? Okay, it's freezing temps. Uh, we don't need to check the EMF uh, on anything because in insanity mode you can only get one evidence item. He also ruled out the Oni, which I will 
explain once we were safe. Because uh, the Oni cannot do a uh, airball ghost vent. It's probably not a shade. Uh, so it leaves these ghosts. Uh, I think it can't be a Moroi because it's not Spirit Box. Okay. Is there any other four step instances? Just with the mimic. Um, I'm gonna bring a smudge in case it is a demon. Uh, because we should be in demon hunting range right now. If my like, guesstimates are accurate, probably like slightly below 75%. I think the Actually, I think the demon's hunting range is 70%, but I don't know. I think we're pretty close. Too close to not have some protection on us. In my opinion. Uh, it could... Okay, it's just a mimic. There's Orbeez. Um, let's see... Honestly, man, we might as well try to get a quick perfect game. I mean, we're not gonna. I say perfect game. I don't know if I want to try to escape hunt. I'm gonna take a pill so we're like a little maxed out on Sandy. So that becomes very unlikely for the demon Hanas. I'm gonna bring in equipment. The mimic, its traits, if you did not know, is that it has two evidences. Well, it has four evidences, but it presents one extra evidence. Uh, it can do this presentation even when uh, there's zero evidences because the orbies are fake orbies, not real orbs. For whatever reason. Which is unusual, but also, you know. The Mimic has the ability to replicate the effects of other ghosts. Wait, I've got two cameras in there already. Guess I'll bring this much. So it can... It basically just randomly does it. Periodically. This makes the Mimic kind of dangerous, because it could mimic a dangerous ghost. Uh, which is why I pilled myself up. Probably shouldn't have activated the glow stick that early. Whatever. What the fuck? I think it just did a ghost event. Maybe? Can you show yourself? Can you reveal yourself? I'm a little mind flooded. So it can, uh, it can mimic dangerous ghosts, which makes the mimic, uh, real dangerous ghost to be against. That's why I feel a little uncomfortable hanging around here, but... Here I am. In spite of that... Be nice if it friggin' walked on the saw already. I know it's still here because it's still freezing. Okay, it's claiming up. That's real annoying. Okay, whatever. I'm not going for the perfect game. Screw you, Mimic. I don't really like unpredictability, so I'm not going for the perfect game. <laughs> Forget it. 
If it's gonna not do anything, then it's brought it upon itself. Uh, we didn't get any of the objectives, but that is fine. Insanity mode's got like a six times multiplier, so we should still get at least one level, probably like three. If I had to guess. Yep. Yeah. Oh, feels good. I am a giga brain. Right on the money. Boom. Uh. Let's see. Could do. I'm not really a big fan of the Camp Woodwind map. I don't like the outside maps. Too much like a line of sight. Guess I could do. I want to say Grafton. Alright, we're hunting Ted Holmes. Gotta get a low Sandy. EMF. This one's easy. And prevent the ghost from hunting with the crucifix. Which is kind of easy. I kind of rag on it because... Well, reasons. The ghost's really roamy, so the crucifix isn't like a, that great at preventing ghost hunts, but... I mean, if you know what the ghost room is, and you're in hunting range, and you have enough of it covered, eventually the ghost will block into the crucifix. Uh, through something nearby. I think it's probably... Every room has glass. It's like around here or something. Maybe the living room? Maybe this room over here? Yeah, let's see. No breaker in here either. Nor is there a hiding spot. Okay, not quite sure where the phone is. Ah, oh, here it is. in the dining room. I'll check the EMF later. Right now, getting the lights on is pretty high priority. Breaker should be, yep, right here. Got the lockers, which are a nice guaranteed hiding spot. I think that's a hiding spot too, I'm not 100% sure. And I know for certain you can hide behind this couch. Uh, I think, did I turn that light on? It might have turned this light on. I'm 50-50 because I have a habit of like turning on the lights once I enter a place. But it might be that I'm going to tentatively say that it's not a mayor. Mayor cannot turn on lights. I'm going to just get some evidence items in. Just to get that process started. I'm probably going to grab a thermo to double, double check that it's actually in there. Because it could be that it's like in the entryway room and it was just interacting with the phone through the wall. Let's see any Orbeez real quick. Nothing immediately jumps out to me. Alright, spare box. It's fingerprints, thermo, and I think we'll have had all the evidence items in there now. Alright, so immediately it's four degrees over here. It's ten degrees over here. Okay, I think it's actually in this room. What a pain in the ass. 
it's slightly cold in there because it's been bouncing back and forth too. It is whatever. Yeah. Did it flick that light? Can you talk? Can you speak? How old are you? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Can you talk? Can you speak? Where are you? How old are you? Are you here? Are you close? Can you talk? Can you speak? Where are you? How old are you? Are you here? Are you close? Okay. Tentatively rule out the spear box. Sometimes ghost is a pain in the ass with it though. Let's see. Gonna dots me. Not seeing any orbies. Might be like an EMF five or writing ghost, which would be really annoying. Just giving it a little bit of a look see. Getting a little bit paranoid. I think we're starting to hit the territory where it might be able to hunt. Not like 100% sure. It's the vibe I'm getting. I'm just gonna set up another camera so I can look in this kitchen as well. Not seen any orbies. And I'll get another running book in as well. Increase the likelihood that's gonna use it. Could possibly get the crucifixes in as well. Yeah, might as well. If we could get that um, challenge objective thing for free, that would be really nice. I can double check the thermo readings once I get this in. And I think we're just going to be playing the waiting game. Hunting for EMF 5. Um, fuck, which door was that? Was it this door? Could have also been this door. Okay, it's Fingies. <laughs> okay, well, we no longer need to check EMF. So, what are the fingerprints ghosts? Let's see, it could be Mimic. It's probably not the Mimic. Be Phantom, Poltergeist, Banshee, Jin, Demon Hantu, Goryo, can't be Goryo, Myling, could be, Bake. Oh, it can't be Hantu either. Uh, certain ghosts in this game have certain locked in evidences that always appear if any evidences are available. For the Hantu, it's freezing temps, I'm pretty sure, and for the Goryo, it's dots. Just taking a peek. We're gonna have to sweep that living room for Orbeez. I don't know what that blinking light is. Yeah, I'm not seeing any Orbeez here. We probably would have seen Orbeez. And attentively say it's not the mimic. So how do we solve this ghost? Um, it's a good thing we do have protection because it could be a demon. 
Uh, let's see, Phantom is a hunt test, Poltergeist is a hunt test, Demon is a meta hunt test, Jin is a hunt test, Myling is a hunt test, Obake. We're going to have to look at fingerprints, it can also do a hunt test as well. I'm going to get the parabolic mic out, just so that we can maybe get lucky and get a Banshee Scream. I guess I could... Camp upstairs. So that I can just run up there if need be. So I'll plop this guy down here. Motherfucker. If we had a photo cam, we would have been able to roll in or out Phantom there. That's really annoying. Maybe I'll get a photo cam up there as well. Just why I have a photo cam to retreat to. Also to let the ghost retreat back into its room. Alright, we continue our search. It can be a little bit boring, but is what it is. As time goes on, we become less and less likely that it's a demon, which is nice. Where the fuck is that noise coming from? Oh my god. Is there a radio, like, right here? No, it's downstairs. You motherfucker. Oh, it tricked me. Son of a bitch. <sighs> Lord me down there so it could hit me with the ghost event. What a motherfucker. A cup down there as well. I want to bring a... Uh... <laughs> it really sent that friggin' book. I think I'm going to bring a motion sensor in just to maybe get like a soft phantom test or phantom banshee test. They both have the trait where they will roam, like walk roam over to you, which is cool. Uh, it used a... Uh... Crucifix. Okay, I feel a lot less confident all of a sudden. Uh, I think I kind of want to start chugging pills just to see what our Sandy is at. But I don't know if I necessarily want to do it right off the rip. It'd be good to know if it tried to hunt above 50%, but I'm guessing we kind of stood there for a while... There's some spots in the maps that just aren't covered by the lights. It's very plausible that we're under 50%. Ugh. Whatever, I think we just go upstairs and wait for it to hunt. 
Now, what's the last objective? Below 25% sandy. Cool. Well, I'm gonna wait kinda far away for it to truly begin its hunt. Uh, just in case it's gonna try some crazy bullshit. Oh, no, it started its hunt. Are you serious? Fucking get over here, man. That's so lame. What a lame ghost. Let's touch the door back there. Oh, man, I really want to go over it with the UV light, but... We're still in hunt territory, so I think that'd be a foolish idea. I'm just gonna wait for another hunt. I think it's hunting again? Yep. I don't know if it uh, was ginning me or not. Hmm. I mean, it's not a phantom. We didn't really give a proper poltergeist test. I could try to loop it around that table the poltergeist test, but then uh, I don't know where the fuck I would hide. Maybe uh, there should be a spot right behind that fridge that I could hide. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's the way to do it. I'm just grabbing another comfort flashlight. <laughs> We're gonna have to transfer crucifix over uh, to the kitchen so we don't get like hunted right on top of where we're at. No! You fucker! Uh, I don't know, Banshee, I guess. Man! Unbelievable. I thought I was safe. It was a gin, after all. Aw, oh, man. That sucks. Got seven pity bucks. Oh, it's 1.7k down the drain. Son of a bitch. I was totally caught with my pants down. Can't believe it actually followed me. I guess uh, what happened, what must have happened, is that it must have seen me through the railing of the staircase. Or like, when I went up, it went the same direction. And I already sped up a little bit because I 
kind of delayed. I should have went for the. I shouldn't have. I should have went for the fridge downstairs. Just because there's more like a line of sight breakers. Oh, uh, that sucks. Oh well. Not every game can be a winner. I should have. If I really wanted to truly rule out the gin. Guess the strategy would have been to be back upstairs where I was and just like laser focused on its movement. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass to try to figure out gin speed though, except on like a absolutely enormous map because the gin has like two competing characteristics. The gin speeds up until it's within like nine feet of you. And then it goes to normal ghost speed, but the gin also accelerates, so you can get like a weird interaction where the gin is like chasing you, the speed of sound, and then uh, by the time it gets to you, it's already faster than normal as well. Which is whatever. That eh, was my bad. I should have, I guess, been slightly more cautious entering. Entryway Ghost is a real pain in the ass for hunts, though. But still. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you next time for more Phasmophobia. Goodbye!